All of my love, all of my kissing, you don't know what you've been missing, oh boy. As far as little phrases go, you know, his favorite, grab, root, and growl, when it was time to eat. As a kid, it was always, uh, where's that cotton-picking wrench, or where's that cotton-picking socket? Because, of course, we were always used to taking his tools and not putting them back. And uh, same thing with I can't find my cotton picking whatever, you know. It was always uh, cotton picking whatever it was. And then, of course, uh, trying to fix things is I can't get this plastic thing. Is that, uh, of course, to the custom. But as far as word for my dad, uh, service, volunteer, organizer, leader, contributor, provider, pinch hitter, entertainer, supporter, prepared, coach, and eagle. When I think of Walter and his characteristics, I think of an uncle that was very loving, very centered on his family, on his extended family, always making sure that everyone felt, always felt welcome. I can picture, I can, in my mind, I can hear his, his laughter. He was always uh, a happy person, someone that was uh, quick to laughter, quick to connect with others. I can remember him with his uh, funny uh, instruments he used to always have that we would sing songs to and uh, I always enjoyed that most of all I mean I, I always felt I was close enough to be out to be a son and I wasn't even I was just he's my uncle but he always made me felt like I was loved and I appreciated that one two three o'clock four o'clock rock five six seven o'clock eight o'clock rock nine ten eleven o'clock twelve o'clock rock we're gonna rock he was just he had a greatness of heart and was very generous with his laughter and affection and um and his and his knowledge about whatever he knew about you know about scouting or about just just life he was always really generous that with his loved ones he always shared his joy and his and his and he was such, so good at teaching yeah you know yeah. and um just really such a big personality yeah I do want to remind you there was this time <laughs> on Christmas Eve where everybody was singing all the whole night and it was when my we were little and my dad was still alive and um you know that part that gets really dicey where every, the, where the notes go up really really high yeah. everybody stopped singing in front of walter and my dad and they both hit those notes and they were so bad it was so loud and bad it was great they were just both so full of like song and really really hit those high notes <laughs> and it was so funny it was such a fun memory of mine Merry Christmas! Run to you, this is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ our Lord. There we have rich in this combined nativity scene. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. I remember Uncle Walter always had a big smile on his face. He had a great laugh. He was inviting. He was caring. He loved to play with the kids. The grandkids loved to ride in his golf cart when they were camping and on the train when we would visit for Christmas. He was interested in what you were doing in your life. Mm -hmm. 
loving, outdoorsman, loved hiking. I would say family patriarch, spiritual, really good big brother. Always wanted to do family stuff. Good, good member of the church, wanted to lead the family. When I think of Walter, I think of a very caring, genuine, and loving person. And I remember him from going to his house and spending Christmas with him and his family every Christmas. And he was a life of the party, always playing his poco cello and always bringing the nativity scene out and reading from the scriptures. And I really enjoyed his spirit and his love and his concern for others. My brother Walter, spiritual, loving, kind, caring, peacemaker, patriotic, great sense of humor, loyal to family and friends, intelligent, bit of a wild child when younger, hard worker, thoughtful, outdoorsman, Eagle Scout, husband, father, brother, son, and leader. He wanted to get us all together uh, for a family home meeting. He had taken his reel to reel or whatever was his little films and he had put them on DVDs and okay so he had just done a very simple gesture of bringing us that video so that we could see our dad and, and they were really young pictures uh, Kevin was a baby he was like here I brought these videos and it was just a couple of them and uh, and we watched him like I don't know ten times we were like rewind it rewind it and laughing, and, and that, as an adult, that was, it's like one of my most enchanting memories. It was such a simple gesture, but it reconnected us with our father in a way that I hadn't felt in a long, long time. And I don't know if that was his intention. He really insisted that we have the family home evening, and I, and I know that some of my siblings were kind of dragging their feet about it. But once we were there, I mean, you, could, you knew why it was important. Walter is that he is a genuine person, hardworking, is caring, man of integrity. His family is very important to him. He is a good listener, charitable, service oriented. He is a good example. He is a follower of Christ. He likes to have fun and he shares his talents with others. When talking with Walter, he had a way of making me feel special and that he really cared about what I had to say. He always had a smile on his face and had a great outlook on life. For the day of gladness, when Jesus will come again. Uh, some words that come to my mind is unwavering and valiant. I considered him to be a patriarch of our family, never saw him inactive in the church never saw him unwavering in his love for the Lord and his family. 
every time he greets you, he greets you with a smile and his arms open. And you immediately when you see him, you know, you're he's it's like one on one and he's greeting you with love that every time you see him, you just feel automatic love. When my dad died, Uncle Walter showed up at key moments in my life, never assuming his position or not to take his place, but just to be there. Whether it was dancing the jitterbug with my mom at my wedding, playing Santa Claus for my kids, a listening ear through my divorce, or being a cheerleader through nursing school, he set me apart in the temple and he made me feel worthy no matter what my choices were. He truly believed in the power of priesthood and would offer and use it whenever and wherever needed without questioning. I also loved hearing the stories of his rebellious youth when he was in high school. My mom always remembered a, a little bit more than what he did. But my favorite thing about Uncle Walter I would absolutely love was when he would grab my mom's hand or my aunt's hand and they would dance. He could cut a rug. He was, uh, if, if there was music and a fairly smooth surface that didn't have to be very big, they would dance. And you had to watch because you were in for a treat. You ask how much I need you. Must I explain? I need you, oh my darling. Loving. Stubborn. Yes. <laughs> Trustworthy. Valiant. Obedient. Family first. Determined. Yes, determined. And what's a word that says once he makes a decision, you just do it? There's no need to ponder it anymore. Uh, enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic is good. He, he was... I put it like mom. Mom was boisterous in her testimony. I mean, she, and so was Walter. There was no doubt where he stood and, you know, either lead, walk beside him, or get in line because he was going this way. Well, I think of the story of him and Renola. And once he felt like he had received the revelation that she was the one, uh -huh. okay, that's it. That's it. He was the same way with me. You don't need to revisit. Don't Just... need to revisit. Once, once he knew and had a conviction that it was what the Lord wanted him to do, there was no need to revisit it. <laughs> he called himself a bull in a china shop. Yeah. <laughs> and he was. Until the 12th of never, I'll still be loving you. King, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. <laughs> Change from marching in yeah. and all those things, and man, I mean, we really have a ball of this thing. Um, no, no. Well, we, uh, 
Where are we going with this talent show? Are we going no, from the no, bottom no, no, again? No, I'm not included. <laughs> if you can get my husband to sing, I'd be more than happy to. Yeah, I hear him in here already. Hey, Pop, Pop, give me the package. Oh, wait, where is it? Lynn? Ashley? <laughs> I don't see it. Where are we doing? We're going to show this Ben, ben all the way up, okay? Watch for the day of gladness when Jesus.